Welcome to the Calyrex Game Corner's Pokemon D&D campaign, featuring Cindy, a young vagabond from the Hoenn region with pyromaniac tendencies, Gimli, a stocky, burly miner from Sinnoh looking for his lost son, Elodie, an enthusiastic foodie and baker from Kalos, and Schmidt, an enigmatic man from Johto with a duck. My name is Rich, and I'm the Game Master, and this is Dunsparce and Drampa. What is Schmidt gonna if do? If he sees the like Pokemon coming out and yeah. like for the fight, he's gonna he's gonna jump in. Okay, who's he gonna send out? Uh, just Quacko. It's already there. Okay. Um, do you have an instruction for Quacko? You're just gonna run up. There's uh, so there's start scrapping. Let me identify the main targets here in this mm-hmm. battlefield. Um, this central courtyard. It's like a thirty foot radius circle, whatever. Um, there's Enyo, and I'll just be honest. He has a Gardevoir. There's Rada with an Agron. There's Callisto, which is the name of the admin who was at the Weather Institute with her Mighty Enna, of course. And then there's this floating blackish purple figure who's by the Zeppelin. What do you intend um, to do with that information? Which one is closest to me? Um, Enyo and Gardevoir. Let's try to sneak around and see if we can flank the Gardevoir. Oh, OK. OK. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you can roll that. If it gets too in-depth, I am going to ask you to start initiative, but I think a, a sneak attack here could be pretty cool. 10? Uh, oh, plus 2, 12. Well, I don't know if that made a giant difference. Yeah. I think it does. I'm going to get Gardevoir to roll for this. Gardevoir is a little preoccupied. Uh, she's too in touch with the emotions of her trainer to notice that she's been stuck up upon. Do you take your free critical hit? Yes. Okay, roll it. I'll hit him with a, a knockoff. Okay. Hell yeah. I know it's only going to be neutral, but... Yeah, it's still, still cool. cool. That's still, yeah. It's like... The effect of this move is exactly what you think it is. But it's plus six to hit, and it's 2d8 plus three dark damage. In the meantime, uh, uh, let's just say LED make a percent. Okie doke. It was a net one. Okay. Yeah, you don't see shit. God, our perceptions are top. Yeah, you guys, the sun's just in your eyes, okay? It's just so hard. Like, I can't see what's going wearing on. Wearing visors! Fire. That's yeah. true, you're wearing little visors. That's all the grunts are. Um, <laughs> you know what I'm most concerned about? Outside the game? My my uh, my Torkoal's still at the gym. <laughs> yeah, so is my Poplio. Uh-oh. A little upset about that. Well, I know, you'll I pick mean, them up and then fight. <laughs> pick right, them up because and then fight. I'm sure that the gym is still fully operational. And nobody's concerned about the revolution happening outside. I could give you a perception. It'll be to even see easier to get your Pokemon. You're, you're close enough that you could see it. Oh, we could see it. Oh, we could see the gym. <laughs> yeah. You want to roll and see what's <laughs> happening there? Yeah. Mm, okay. Well, it's by you guys. I mean, it, it's by like the northern uh, exit of this downtown you, square. Uh, I rolled a ten <laughs> to see if we can actually get to the gym. I'm curious if we can actually get our Pokemon back. But at least, like, the get... For like, clarity, it's the Battle Institute, not the gym. But... Yeah, 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 the Battle yeah. Institute. Yeah, gym where Pokemon get buff. Yes. Not do the fight. exercise gym. Did you take the binder with you, Sam? No. Okay. You didn't have to. But, but I have I just... some Pokeballs. Do you have a dozen of them? I, real- I didn't realize you didn't take the binder. I just read it. Oh, you didn't. <laughs> 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 yeah, you didn't read it. <laughs> you didn't uh, read. You forgot how. I did get artifact artifact number five. Twenty-eight. Is that on top of your other rollers at the total? That's That's the total. total. Nineteen. Okay. Wait. Hey, that's a pretty sizable hit for a Pokemon that can generally see the future. It was pretty caught off guard. It was surprised, Um, and as it winces (laughs) from the pain, um, it seems like Enyo does as well. Maybe they have some sort of mental connection. Maybe they're Uh, synchronized. um, Sick. <laughs> Gardevoir turns around to its foe and just looks at Quacko and her eyes glow pink and then she just keeps staring and Quacko doesn't seem to have anything happening to him. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I've seen this. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Um, a while, so the other trainers, the Blaziken trainer and the Flygon trainer, witnessed Schmidt's bravery and they were like, this is it. This is the time. We're doing it. Um, Blaziken charges in Goes for a high jump kick onto Agron. Uh oh. And connects. Huge. 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 Does a 
lot of damage. That's yeah. pretty cool. Yes. That's um, awesome. Yeah. So you all witness this epic fighter chicken just take this opportunity to just straight up just plow Agron yeah. right in the face. And yes, Agron kind of like falls over a little bit as a huge chunk of its health was just removed. Flygon, yeah, screw that guy. U- using the sand that it's whipped up, um, charges towards the floating figure. And the floating figure puts out a hand and just Flygon just stops, stops moving and is covered in a purplish pink light and is completely frozen. And the trainer on top of him is also frozen. Oh, God. What is this big mechanical thing? A Gundam. Uh, Yeah, we established it's a Gundam. (laughs) (laughs) You don't know what a Gundam is? I'm sorry. No. Oh, God. Hold Hold on. on. (laughs) <laughs> um schmidt's schmidt's act of bravery has also inspired other trainers who might not be quite as impressive um there is a small boy in shorts and he has a zigzagoon who's like chewing on rada's foot um and there is a little girl who's holding her surskit in the air and it's just blowing bubbles towards the general oh i think this question more than ever is very pressing um, Schmidt is in the fray. What are the three of you doing? Are you going to a destination? Or are you just going to run in the center of town? Are you just going to run away? Don't you don't know, know what Schmidt has done. I want to get portal. Oh, we don't see what Schmidt has done. I asked you to roll a perception. You got a one. Oh, right. True. <laughs> yeah. He's I also did, fact... he's on the opposite side. So you you do see the blast uh, the blast toys. You see the blaze again and the flag on, but you didn't see Schmidt. You don't know what started it. Well, I'm not in favor of running away. I kind of do want my Poplio for the Mightyena because Cabbage is low on health. That's what I'm um, also with. I want Turtle back for, for this. So fight. do we want to run in that direction? I kind of sure. do want to go to the Battle Institute to get our Pokemon back. Can yeah, I, know, I... I know it's like a lengthy like delay in the action, but like it's a logistical thing. Like We got to get them back. So. Yeah. I mean, as we're running, can I have... Cabbage is a move, or would that be too much? You could try. It might not be as successful, but you can do something. Okay. Because I can, I can try and Dazzling Gleam, because that's got like a 30-foot cone, and it can like maybe blind something. I don't know. Yeah, what's each square worth? Five. That's an easy way to get the... Each square's worth Oh, okay. Five. So I don't think you're in range. Yeah, probably not. Yeah. Okay, never mind then. Did we, yeah, did that's we fine. say what each square... I must have missed it. Did you say what each square's worth? Five. This grid. Five? Okay. Five. Okay, okay. That gives us a good idea then. Yep. Okay. Now, where would you say the battle institute is in accordance to this grid? Um, it's like 15 feet to the north. It's at the corner. That's the top right. Okay. Okay. So we can get there in like one quote yeah, unquote turn. Back, yeah. yeah. Easily. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Cool. All right. Well, let's go there and get our Pokemon back. Or at least attempt to. Is Cindy on board with this as well? Yeah. Okay. As you're running up, um, the dudes in the battle institute, you might have seen this if you rolled better perception. They have stepped outside and they're just releasing their Pokemon. They're just like everything that's in the battle institute. They're like, nope, you're leaving. We can't be responsible for this. Um, and uh, you can see throwing the balls out. And your Pokemon are in the mix, as well as like a Makuhita and a Meditite. And they're just kind of looking around confused. They're like, what's going on? And they just kind of like leave the Pokeballs on the ground. They're like, we're not dealing with this. And then the, the trainers just run off. Man assholes <laughs> kind of yeah. yeah but just, good like, for us because we, we get our pokemon yep, yeah we get our pokemon back uh, they're, they're awesome. all there they're all fine they look confused and they don't look f- very thoroughly worked out but uh you know they're there okay Toidal. <laughs> we got work to do let's get some stuff done the baddies the mighty Anna, the agron are in the gardevoir and the mystery would like to take their turn as they have been attacked so yes. this is probably going to mm-hmm. start an initiative Okay. Okay, everyone do that. Oh, are we a part of the initiative? Like, we're close enough to be. We plan I think on fighting. Even, I think even if you're not fighting, you need to move in turns at this point. So That's fair. Um, yeah, fair. I do, want, I do want to emphasize here, you are not obligated to fight. Sometimes the right answer isn't always fighting. Just re- realize that the stakes are high. If you get in over your head, there might be other options. But yeah, Schmidt, you can do another thing. Okay. So if I have multiple Pokemon, they all move as a group, right? On yes. my turn? Yes, if we're not okay, in like I would a, like to send out yeah. all of my Pokemon. You send out so, all four of your Pokemon. Yeah. What are their names? Uh, Richie, Jessica, Patricia, and Quacko. Excellent. Um, what do you intend to do with them? <laughs> if you can right. come up with creative, cool team attack stuff, I will give you bonuses. Yeah. Um, how far away is everybody? Like the other combatants. Okay, 
So Gardevoir, are you looking at the little map thing? So at the westernmost part of the courtyard semicircle, there is Gardevoir. And then to the right, mm-hmm. there's Agron. And then to the right, there's Mightyena. And above them is the strange figure in this blimp. Everyone else is on the other side. The closest, okay. the closest opponent to them is Mightyena. Is that more or less than 20 feet? They are more than... Oh, it's way more than 20 feet. It's like 50 or okay. 60 feet. So it's the Gardevoir is the only one within 20 feet. Okay. Oh, no, sorry. For your mods, I'm sorry. You are yeah. in range of all of the bad guys. Okay, so a disarming voice would hit all of them. What's the range of disarming voice? 20 feet circle. Yeah, you know what it was. I guess 10 foot radius, but if we're counting, I don't know if the 20 feet's the diameter or the radius. 10 foot radius. It's Yeah, you wouldn't hit Mighty Enna. You would hit. Damn, that's the one hit, I want to hit it with. It. Yeah, you'd hit Gardevoir, you'd hit Agron, you'd hit whatever's floating in the sky. But I don't think you'd hit Mediana. Um, but Sing also has a range of thirty feet. Yeah. And this one says choose a number of creatures within range to make a Wisdom saving throw. That's true. So I'm gonna sing on all of them. Okay. Broken. Um, what's the save? Uh, eight plus charisma, which is zero. <laughs> okay, it does have low accuracy. Oh my god, this is so funny. Okay, <laughs> yeah, get ready. Okay, so Agron not affected, Mydiana not affected, Gardevoir caught on off guard, falls asleep. Oh my god, <laughs> um, I wish we're seeing the future. Like, Patricia also falls asleep. It's like like Shulk seeing the future. Like you can see the future, but can't really do stuff about um, it sometimes. I hope you caught that. What I said. What did in Patricia? The games. Patricia also fell asleep. Oh. In the game, synchronized. Oh, I think yeah, only works with Malakai at his yeah, conditions, yeah. but I don't know if that's different here because this is D and D. Just thought I'd mention it. I've discovered that recently. Did like Eleanor fall asleep? I know she's telepathically linked with Gardevoir. <laughs> Uh, you know what? Yeah, that'd be funny. That's amazing. <laughs> that would be funny. <laughs> I like it's that. Like, That's good. Yeah, you get inspiration. A, no, you don't. I'm not gonna give you inspiration for that. Actually, because like you can sing to the people too. Like I, you can make I, the trainers boss. I, I would argue it's a Pokemon move. So like you could make yeah. people fall asleep. It's gonna be right, a different kind of check. Like, link thing it's also like the history of the world. Like every time sing is used, like trainers have not fallen asleep. Right? Yeah. Exactly. That but that also, out. Like, but the, it's like a target type thing. So maybe they're not targeting trainers. But like, people, if you did, yeah. maybe Pokemon can make people I, fall asleep. But it's like different memes, oh, kind of. I don't think it's a. But we pointed out already that she took damage. Yes. when Gardevoir took damage. That's why I'm pointing out the sing thing. Right, right, right. Also affected by the sleep, like Gardevoir is. That makes sense. I'm just yeah. saying the sing affecting people does not make sense. Anyway, back to the fighty fates. Yes. Yes. Yeah, I heard what you said, Grace, but I, I, I'm doing it this way. I think it's that's fair. I, I again, like this is D and D, so it's separate from the games. Kind of think of some cool like combination. I don't know if I can do something that cool. Yeah, we're just gonna go for damage. Jessica is going to helping hand Quacko. Cool. Um, and Quacko is going to use their other new move. Um, I just want to make sure I have the damage right for that. What damage did I give you? You're talking about slash, uh, right? Yeah, 2d8 plus 5. And, cool. and, and it, it also... It crits earlier than it should. 18, 19, and 20. 18, 19, and 20. Is that just naturally for the move, or is that counting the leak? That's with the leak, because well. the leak would leak or okay, slash would yeah. bring you to 19, and then both bring you to 18. Uh, so the helping hand can add to the attack roll? Yes. Okay, so I'm going to add a d6 to the attack roll. To hit, yeah, okay. Yep. Or wait, it's plus six. Never yeah. mind. No, I'm not going to do that. Yeah. <laughs> you can actually, actually do damage instead if you want. <laughs> actually, yes, I am because this is a Gardevoir and I'm scared it's going to be more than that. Dirty 21. The roll was 15, so it's not a crit. Well, this is a dirty 21 hit, I guess I should say. It does. It does. Okay, okay, okay. I'd be more concerned about Agron to hit than Gardevoir. Great. I'm just still, it's yeah, like yeah, a third yeah. stage evolution Pokemon. I'm just it's true. still afraid that. More than 20. You haven't it's fought not anything hit. like this before. So Okay, so 16 damage from the Slash. Yep. Yeah. Gardevoir being asleep will, has taken damage, so we'll make a roll to wake up. And fails. Okay. Okay. Not bad. And I still have one... I've healed up completely from the gym, right? Yes. You went to the Pokemon. Okay. 
Okay. Yep. And I'm going to hit the Gardevoir with a big clean acrobatics, too. Was it 17 hit? It will. Okay. Phew. Uh, 19 damage. Jeez. <laughs> She's kind of crazy. Yeah, your team's pretty good. Um, all I got to say. Yeah, <laughs> nice. That's uh, significant damage. Gardevoir's going to see if she wakes up. She does this time. So Gardevoir and Enyo both awaken and they prepare their move. Okay, now it's the baddies' turn. Very cool. Um, speaking of preparing their move, Gardevoir very concerned about her trainer. She spritz, She faces Enyo and spreads out her hands and a little pink aura waves between both of them. And um, Enyo seems a little less beat up, a little less hurt. Um, Gardevoir does not look to make an attack. Rada summons Agron to charge into Blaziken. Um, goes for a big old iron head. And that connects with Blaziken. Rod is going to use one of his feats to make from that hits to initiate a grapple. Blaziken. So they are just a big old dino and a big old chicken are just interlocked Ooh. fists into horns. And they're just like wrestling out in the courtyard. Oh, it's pretty sick. <laughs> it's pretty so sick. sick. Yeah. Um, the strange floating figure um, waves its hand very gently and Flygon just launches out of Mauville City. It's just gone. It just yeets all the way down into Slateport, basically. You can't see it. It's just no longer around. The Zeppelin opens up some chutes along the side, and very similar to what you've seen in Lily Cove City, some ropes drop down, and people start to climb out, as well as hordes and hordes of bats are flying out as well. Uh, Callisto and her mighty Yenna are going to... What are they going to do? They're going to step off the courtyard. And she's going to rally her grunts, help them, because it seems they're under attack. So she's going to have Mighty Anna make a charismatic howl to rally the troops. If it works. Yeah, it totally works. That was great. The, a lot of the grunts were like distracted by the awe of the scene, but now they're like engaged. They're like ready to go. And a bunch of grunts create a perimeter around the southern border of this like downtown area that would lead towards Slateport. They all send out a bunch of Pokemon. You see Carvanas, you see crazy looking frogs, you see like small little like cats and rats and like bats and any more things that I can think that rhymes with that. <laughs> um, just like lots of classic grunt Pokemon are just like standing there and uh, they're like making a perimeter basically on the southern side of the town. That's that for, for the baddies. It's now Elodie's turn. Well, I, I was formulating a plan, but the introduction of more Pokemon is making that plan less realistic. So you said that there were like uh, other Pokemon that were being released from the Battle Institute, right? Yes. Yeah, everyone that was staying there, everyone who's working in the gym, there's like, hell no, nah, I'm not going to be responsible for this. And they just like kick them out and they hope they find their trainers. You guys got how the- many of them? Oh, uh, how what many? were you saying? I was saying you guys got their Pokeballs. They like left them out and you're able to pick them up. So you have those. Like your own Pokeballs. Like, yes, that's what I'm trying to say. You don't have to worry about that. Yes. OK. But, but how- the other Pokemon are still in the Pokeballs. Mm, uh, some of them are. And some of them are just like some of them returned themselves. They were like, I don't want to be here without my trainer. And then some of them are just kind of floating around like, where's my trainer? And then some of them are finding their trainers out in the crowd. So do you, mm-hmm. have, a, do you have something you want to do with them or something? I kind of wanted to try and like rally them to like fight with us. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, let me see. Roll a... I could roll this, but I kind of want you to roll it. Roll like a... Okay, d12. That's... I got a four. Okay. Yeah, so you have... um, There's four Pokemon that seem like they're just kind of lost and confused, and they can all just do one really basic thing. Those four Pokemon are a Togetic, a Yanma, a Nidoran, female, and a Porygon. They are just kind of standing there. Do you intend to, like, sway them somehow? Yeah. Say something like, look, your traitors might be in danger out there. You need to help us fight these bad guys. Okay. Uh, roll a charisma. Okay. So you're dressed like one of the bad guys, but... Is I'm dressed like one of the bad guys? That might affect how this plays out, but, you know. Uh, this is a, um, just like a uh, persuasion, you said? Yeah. Or... yeah, 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 persuasion, sorry. Yeah, that's better. That's a 12? Oregon doesn't comprehend. Oregon just is, like, beyond this plane of existence, does not really know what you're saying. Nidoran and Togetic are like, yeah, okay, for sure. 
and Yanma glares at you and goes to nibble you because you kind of look like a bad guy. Um, and they roll a four. But it's clear that Yanma's trying to attack you. And Toga take a and are like, okay, yeah, let's let's help out. Got some Pokemon helping out. Woohoo. You can probably move. Now- you can probably make another check. I'm not sure about like doing like a full on attack right now though. So yeah. It's come out of time. Yeah, I'm gonna can I like have all of my Pokemon that are with me right now, which would be cabbage, grape juice, and bubblegum out, and mm-hmm. then just move towards where the fight is, like kind of on the outskirts of yeah, it. Yeah, you can get in range. Uh, I'm assuming you want to be like 30 feet away, because that's like pretty standard. Yes. Okay. Yeah, that's yeah. perfect. You totally do that. Um, Togetic and Nidoran like sheepishly kind of followed you as well, and then Yanma awesome. is just kind of like being very angry. Porygon is just spaced out, just floating in front of the Battle Institute, just does not know what's going on. Cindy? I let all of the Pokemon that I have on me out, which is that Soli, Jack, and Cookie. Yep, Izzy's in the box, if I remember. Yes. So I let everybody out, and I'm like, okay, we have some stuff to do, guys. How how close are we? You, if you used your full movement, you could get in range to make an attack. All right, I guess we'll do that. Um, you are in range of Agron, and you can hit Mighty Anna with a ranged attack, but not a melee attack. Agron and Blaziken are currently like in a grapple, so you might be able to like move that favor a little bit, perhaps. You're also in range of the floating thing that is currently uninhibited. It's not fighting anything. I have flamethrower. That's true. It's a 40 foot cone. That's true. So, yeah, we're going to flamethrower in the general direction of the baddies. Yeah. Yeah. From where you're at, you could probably hit all the baddies with that. So, yeah. Um, what's the save dex? Uh, 14. OK. Either way, they take damage, but it's half if they pass. Yeah. Mighty N and Agron both got a 17. And okay. um, Gardevoir got a five. Uh, as far as the people Ooh. go. If, oh, if they fail the save by a five or more, they're burned. Okay. So Gardevoir is burned. And then Soli mean? would be burned, but Soli's a fire type. But man. But, yes, yeah, it doesn't. Oh, does that mean it, Enyo's burned? Yeah. Yeah, it does. I love because, this oh, gee. um. Second degree burned. Well, like if Soli gets burned, it would just like be one of those like fire attacks that boosts the <laughs> very close damage yeah, or whatever. almost i'm not gonna give that to you exactly yeah, no, but fire uh, just can't be burned yeah yeah just, yeah it, yep. if, if they tried to use will-o-wisp on you yeah you get the boost but anyways yeah okay. so um you have roll roll the damage these friends are getting it's burnt up 2d 10 plus 5 and i don't know efficacy uh, I'm it's big, all oh. neutral okay 2d10. Please be good. Okay, we got 18 plus 5. 23. Nice. And then the ones who save take half, correct? Yes. Okay. So yeah. it's like 11. Gardevoir and Enyo are like... Wrong? Enyo's not too messed up because it got heal pulsed, but Gardevoir is like really close. Agron is in a scrap, takes a little bit of damage. It kind of splashes on the Blaziken, but Blaziken does not mind at all. Blaziken does not really get affected by it. Um, yeah, Agron takes an okay amount of damage, and then Mariana takes an okay amount of damage. Oh, um, I still have more the, moves. The fire launches off towards the floating figure, but like right as before it would make contact, it just is deflected by a pinkish purple invisible wall. Cookie's gonna use bubble towards uh, Gardevoir. Okay. Spicy bubble, so that's a 60 foot range, so yeah, should no, hit. It will hit. Yeah. Okay. Um, oh goodness, please. I rolled a six plus three is a nine to nine. hit. Nine is pretty low. Nine is pretty low. Um, Cookie fires off a torrent of bubbles and they fail to guard of our cookie is feeling a little motivated. You get to roll one more time. Uh, <laughs> eight plus there's 11. <laughs> 11? 11 to hit. No, oh, I'm sorry. 11 will not connect. Um, Cookie felt like it had another shot, just needed to get that one last bubble in there, but it was not enough, fortunately. Very mm-hmm. sorry. Jack's teeth- Jack has Intimidate. <laughs> Jack does has, have Intimidate. I'm not sure. I don't think it'll proc until he's, like, head on with something. He can't just okay. be there and then their attack is lowered, kind of. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's just, like, mm-hmm. messed up. But if if he goes face-to-face with something, yeah, he can definitely Intimidate. Okay. His mouth is um, flaming. He's ready for action. 
Except most of his moves are melee, except I believe scary face. I just need to ch- check the uh, yeah, it's a save it's a, because I'm the range save. Yeah. Yep. All right, so we're gonna do scary face on. Is it one target? Oh, uh, we'll do that to Agra. Okay. What's the save? Thirteen strength. That's probably. Oh wait, no. Force a target in range to make a wisdom saving throw. Yes. So like you're calculating your save off of strength, but the opponent has to do it off of wisdom. wisdom. Um, and what's what's the save? What's the number? It says thirteen strength, and Jack strength is plus two. So would it be fifteen? Regardless, Agron rolled sixteen, so Agron is not affected. Um, Gimli. I will first send out. I'll send out Tortle and uh, Trevor. Okay. I don't think I want Shuckle involved in a very offensive fight here. I, I guess as a Gimli turn, I will use a super potion on Trevor. Is sure. Reasonable. Yeah, that's fair. Okay. okay. What do I roll for the healing on that? Uh, ch- 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 crap. I think a super potion should be two d twelve plus his con okay. mod. Okay. Two d twelve. Ten HP total. Okay. Yeah, so just a reason. low roll, but it's still good heal. Yeah, it's still still healing. Okay, I'll remove that from inventory. So I'll get partially because yeah, it's every five feet. My movements yep, like yep. fifteen, right? So I'm like, let's see. Since I'm using Tortle, okay. so fire spin. It says Tortle maintains concentration. What role is that to maintain concentration? Ah, yes. So this is something that I went into. Um, it's a very it's a D and D thing that I'm trying to incorporate into Pokemon. So huh. uh, okay, just doing regular stuff, you'll be fine. Um, yeah. if, if you use another move that requires concentration, you'll have to adjust your concentration. Um, and if you take damage, you have to make a con save. OK. All right. All right. That makes sense. So like so in theory, I can hit multiple targets with this as long as I continue to maintain concentration. when I get Yes. Hit. Think of it as like Got something it. that you can do in the back of your mind. Like gotcha. fire spin okay, can be okay. going and it can be active and you can also use rock tomb after. You know what I'm saying? Like right. on the next turn. Or I can like do another fire spin on someone. Else. Yep. Okay, yep, 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 yep. Yeah, that's awesome. All right. Very cool. That That's a lot of potential. Um. Since I'm basically in range of just Agron, essentially, I'm going to attempt to use Trevor to hit him with a sand attack, which is a, I mean, he's probably going to be fine with that, but um, DC 12 con save. Okay. And then if he fails, he gets minus one of his attack rolls. Got an 18. Okay. He did not fail. Good. Good job, Trevor, as usual. Um, <laughs> okay. Uh, in the meantime, I will hit Agron with a yawn from Toidal. Okay. So that gets started. Does not miss. Yep. Uh, if he remains in battle, they fall asleep. OK, yeah, he's uh, looking a little drowsy. Yeah, exactly. I believe that's your turn, right? Yep. It. It's the party. Like, do I see them now? Like, are they within a earshot? Are we reunited? I don't know. There's been some like flamethrowers and stuff, but you, they're on the opposite side of the courtyard. So I don't okay. know if you see them. No perception. I'm going to say uh, it's a five. So no, <laughs> you know that someone else is fighting, but you just assume it's the other trainers that are surrounding you. The blaze can and okay, cool. and stuff like that. And we're also wearing uniforms. So. Yeah, exactly. Oh, true. <laughs> um, Patricia is asleep. That's true. That sucks. Uh, you, at the start of her turn, she can make a save to try and wake up. So at the start of my turn, I can make a save. So does that count as Schmidt's action or Patricia's action? Patricia's. Okay. Um, you use an oh, item. I rolled a 16. That'll Is there any it. modifier on that? No, but that's enough. Okay. Uh, um, Sick. She can move, so that, but I don't think she can attack. Could I argue that we can make a status move? Absolutely. Okay. Um, <laughs> You might hate me for this one. Okay, I'm ready. Uh, Patricia's just going to dragon dance. Okay, yeah. Perfect. And then Jessica's dancer is going to proc yep. and also get that dragon dance boost. Yeah. Oh, man. I was waiting for this to happen. Yeah, that's a, <laughs> that's 100% what happens. Um, Jessica does the thing where she flaps around and swirls with arcane energy. And for some reason, or Patricia does that. And then for some reason, Jessica is just like, wait, I know how to dance <laughs> and just does it too. And that's pretty neat. So you can yeah, apply the, the dragon dance boost to both of them. Oh, that's crazy. I do not damage. hate you for that. That's uh, definitely that's, intentional. That's <laughs> yeah, that's just awesome. That's sick. Yeah. That's the synergy. That's so cool. So, how's this Akron looking? Are they still like locked with this blaze again? They're locked, but they're on the losing end. They had sand thrown at them, even though it didn't affect them. They like it was it was discouraging, and now they're getting tired. So it looks like Blaziken's about to get the upper hand here. Okay. So while Blaziken has them like pinned down, uh-huh. 
Uh, can I slap him with this revelation dance? Sure. This ground type revelation dance? Yeah. <laughs> Damage getting spicy. What's the range on that? It is melee. Mm, you're going to provoke an attack of opportunity from Gardevoir. Mm, okay. You can so hold off on that. Hold off on that. Hold off on that. Okay. Um, I'm going to have Quacko and Richie uh, do an attack onto Gardevoir. Okay. I'm trying to think of like some cool way we could make like a combo attack work with them, but I just don't see it. Okay. I was trying to think of like some way like... <laughs> I don't know, some way like Richie charges Quacko's sword and then it's like an electric sword. But Dude, sure. Uh, roll a nature for Richie to make that happen. Roll a nature for Richie. Yeah. That's a 10. Uh, it, it's it's charged with static. Like if it touched someone, they would get zapped. Like, <coughs> like when you get out of your chair and you touch a doorknob or something like that. Okay. Very cool. Was that Richie's <laughs> turn? Uh, no. Okay. Okay. If it had worked, I would oh, have yeah. said yes, but no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, oh, they just get like a little like static shock if they get hit by it. It doesn't even deal extra damage. It's yeah, just... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. It's yeah. just like a little ah, exactly. Okay. Um, yeah. So we're just gonna slash him. Okay. With Quacko. new signature move that misses apparently. It's a twelve. Twelve does not hit. Yep. Okay, new move. Still, still working out the kinks. Yeah, that's fine. That's um, fine. you know what probably happened is that uh, Quacko got zapped. Actually, Quacko got zapped. No, okay. like, like they went to coordinate the move, and then oh. Richie was like, "I got this," and then like it ended up zapping. I Quacko. accidentally like, zapped Quacko. Yeah. Oh no. But not doing damage, so it's fine. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Jessica can still move. Uh, well, this Gardevoir's still here. It is. Richie hasn't moved yet, right? Oh, true. 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 We're going to just raw damage. Okay. Just acrobatics. Just raw damage. Okay. What's your plus, plus eight? Well, what's your plus to hit? Or not plus to plus hit. Plus eight. What's your bonus on damage on acrobatics? Uh, plus seven. Okay. Um, you will KO Gardevoir. Do you want to describe it at all? <laughs> uh, <coughs> huh, how do I describe this? I, what I've just been thinking acrobatics is the entire time is just like Imalga walks up or like flies up to him, and then it's just like a flurry of like you can barely see Omolga. It's just like a glimpse here, a glimpse here, a glimpse here, and they're like getting slashed all over their body. Perfect. That's exactly what I picture as well. Yeah. And anyone else who might be listening. Yeah, that happens. Um Gardevoir gently closes her eyes and Enyo also seems to go unconscious. Sick. So that opens up Jessica for a revelation dance on the Agron. Mm-hmm. It does. All right. So we're going to roll to hit that. Please, 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 please. Ooh, 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 ooh. Dirty 21. Let's go. Okay. Yeah, 19 damage. Um, Agron is still up. Uh, the The way that Revelation Dance works is that it's like kind of like earth bending, right? Like Jessica does mm-hmm. some break dancing on the ground and then like, like pillars of earth kind of and marble and, and concrete from the ground go up and smash into Agron and it displaces its foot and it fails its grapple against Blaziken, and its back hits the ground, um, and Blaziken is now standing on top of Agron. Very cool. Sick. I believe that's it for you? Yeah, that's all of my... Okay. Yep. Yeah. Um, the baddie's turn. Gardevoir's knocked out. Um, <laughs> Rada is going to go over and scoop up Enya, and walk towards the Zeppelin. Callisto is going to have her mighty Anna charge back in battle but my end is not really going to be in range of anything but it's going to stand next to the floating figure the floating figure who recently got berated with a flamethrower from Soli that didn't happen to do any damage he's going to look over towards the party minus schmidt and make a check here okay um the floating figure has locked eyes with cindy it seems curious no. about cindy for some reason uh, and that's that's their turn. Mime Junior. Mime. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> uh Elodie, it's your turn. It's mime Junior. <laughs> um well yeah. cuz the barriers and stuff. This is what I was going to do anyways and also the results of this action may influence our opinions about that. But I'm thinking I want to focus in on the Mighty Ina mm-hmm. 
And I'd like to have my Pokemon combine to make lots of loud noise and blinding lights. I would like to have Cabbage stay close to me and use Dazzling Gleam and then Grape Juice and Poplio use Uproar and Disarming Voice. So just wanted to all over. That's what my plan is. That is super cool. That is okay. like a bunch of performances. That is so neat. True. Um, do you want to disorient or like what's your goal here? Do you want to disorient? Do you want to do damage or do you want to do both? We're going to make it just a custom oh. move. Do you want to do both? Yes. Okay. Um, this move is going to be called cacophony. Um, Yo. Roll a d20 and add 12. Okay. <laughs> so I rolled a 14. So that's 26. Okay. So. That was going to be their save, and they can't possibly make that with their stats. I feel like there's a D and D spell that would be appropriate for this, but I just don't have my player's handbook on me. So let's just say roll a roll a D twenty times five. Roll five D twenty. Okay. Um, because <laughs> I mean the there's super effective damage from. I guess yeah, I guess technically no, yeah, I don't know if roll, this is like a new move, but like from Daz and Gleam and Disarming Voice. Yeah. So I feel like. That makes sense. Roll a D100 and I'm it D100. Might, that, that's 5D20 basically. Okay, um, and yeah. that I might not be the damage, but that's how I'm going to determine how this plays. Okay. Okay. I will roll 5D20 then. Okay. 68. Okay. I wrote them down as I was going. Okay. I wasn't going to math as I was going. For sure. I'm going to use a calculator. Are any of them 19 or 20? <laughs> Two of them are. 19, 19 or 20? 19. Two of them are 19? Yes. Okay. Crazy. Um, this is going to be silly. Roll any dice and tell me if it's even or odds. Okay. It was odd. Okay. Great. Um, as a charisma-focused group, a performing arts ensemble, one might say they need a group name, Cabbage starts flashing in brilliant dazzling gleam lights, and then the two vocalists perform their song in brilliant harmony. It's incredible. Um, it's quite distracting. All of the noise that are being made by the bats coming out of the Zeppelin is just silenced. Um, and basically everyone's attention turns to this show. It's amazing. Mighty Anna is practically knocked out as a lot of this damage that's being de- dealt from vision and sound is all fairy. Um, it does a lot of damage. Uh, the Gundam mech floating purple and pink figure um, is disoriented by this, actually. They were locking eyes with Cindy and now they've averted their gaze slightly. Because of your coin flip, grape juice is enveloped in a glowing light and begins to evolve. Let's go! Let's go! And there you have an evolved grape juice, ready for action. Let's add a triumphant bellow. Congratulations. That was pretty cool, yeah. It was efficient. Our ensemble name is the Whisk Takers. Just so the you know. Whisk Takers. <laughs> uh, can can I give you inspiration for that? I love that. <laughs> yes. Do I need? Do you need my permission for that? I do. That is so good. That is so funny. Okay. <laughs> yeah, the Whisk Takers. Another brilliant performance, and one of their musicians just got an upgrade, baby. Okay. Let's go. Uh, Cindy, what are you doing? Um, <laughs> probably another uh flamethrower. Sure, go for it. So who who's still there to be hit? Um, Agron, Mydiana, barely, and then this floating thing. And there's a whole bunch of bats that are coming in gradually. Okay, so just in the direction of all that, because it's a cone, a 40-foot cone. Mm-hmm. Um, so everybody needs to make a DC 14 deck save. Okay. If you want to do the bats in like groups or something instead of like individual bats, I don't know how many there are. Uh, they're not in range yet. I'm, they're just coming in. Oh, okay. They're actually slowed down because of cacophony. Yeah, Mighty Anna's just knocked out for sure. <laughs> Mighty Anna's just fried. Um, never got the chance to really do anything. Just ran up there and then got blasted by a concert and then a flamethrower. Um, yeah. Agron, not looking good, but it is tanky. It made the save. 13 plus 5 is 18. Okay, yeah, it's still up. Agron's pretty beefy, but um, it took a big hit. Not doing great. Um, I, as far as map visualization, 
I have some stuff written down, but I want to make sure. I think Cindy is like the most forward and Elodie and Gimli are somewhat behind her, correct? That's probably correct, yeah. Okay. Yeah, probably. I want Cindy and Gimli to make a perception check. Perception is plus. Oh, I meant Elodie. I'm sorry. Or no, you know what? You roll it too. You roll it too, actually. All of us? Yep. All three of you. Yeah, because I'm in the same spot as you. 18. 18, okay. Um, I got a 21. Okay. Uh, Cindy and Elodie notice that something in Cindy's bag is very bright and purple and glowing. It's the the rock the tablet. Yeah, I forgot I had that. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I do have it. Yeah, it is very bright. It's shooting out of your bag. I don't know if I want to pull it out though. Probably has to do with this giant mecha thing, and it's probably Mime Junior being affected by something. I'm what thoroughly convinced it's Mime tablet. Junior. One of you could spend your action to get a better look at it. The whole action, but you could do it. I still I have trying... things, Pokemons. You do. I know. Okay. Could that be my action? It could be. Okay. I'll do that after I make my Pokemon do things. Okay. Uh, oh. Gumi's going to bubble again. Okay. Into Towards Agra? the blimp. Towards the blimp. Okay, cool. Because I don't want to hit the thing that might be Mime Jr. Okay. So towards the blimp. Uh-huh. How do I hit a blimp? <laughs> uh, it's it's exactly 60 feet away. Um, just uh, rolled a hit. I rolled a two. Okay, yeah. It, oh, it, don't, it don't hit. The, the... Gumi is useless. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, how close yeah. am I to other things? Uh, you could attack Agron. With a melee attack, or does it have to be ranged? It, it could be either. You put yourself in position as it's 30 feet away, basically. To be fair, it looks kind of taken care of. It has health, but like it's sleepy and Blaziken's like on top of it. Yeah, it's about to fall asleep. It's been yawned, too. So OK. We're going to go in for a lick. Ooh, <laughs> going to lick Agron. <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah. Let's roll that. Uh, 16 plus 4 n- dirty 20 okay yeah hell yeah to hit um it's not paralyzed it's not but it, it deals ghostly damage 1d6 plus 2 3 plus 2 5 damage man i wish that got the ko that would have been so cool it's, it, <laughs> it's just it, a big old lick it did not though but like maybe next turn <laughs> that's so sick um yeah it was successful jack Frolics up and gives Agron a lick right on the metal. And uh, it kind of gets to him. Agron's kind of like, yikes. <laughs> Just a little bit. It's um, like really weirded out, but yeah. also yikes. Um, Blaziken is very weirded out. Blaziken saw this like, what are you? <laughs> Ew. <laughs> yeah. I, let me actually roll something for Blaziken. Oh, yeah. And you know what? No, Blaziken sees that and he like recognizes another fire starter and he, he gives Jack a thumbs up. Yeah. Oh wait, as Cindy's sorry, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cindy's move is to check out the uh the the glowing roll rock tablet and investi- thing. Oh, the tablet. Yeah. Okay. Uh, do you what? How do you intend to investigate it? Uh... <laughs> Are you gonna take it out of your bag and look at it, basically? Yes. Okay. Um, you do not need to do that. Uh, roll investigation, I guess. Sixteen. Okay. Yeah, you can tell that this thing is vibrating. It's a lot like when you encountered pumpkin Um, and throughout the pattern of like shapes that are on the top of it. There's one spot that is like glowing the purplest. So that might be the type type of extra power power. So it's psychic, I'm assuming. Perhaps. Cindy is so smart. (laughs) Um, You have pulled this out and this will trigger something among the baddies. The floating figure looks directly at the stone tablet that Cindy's pulled out, and it looks back in Cindy's eyes. And every person who's here, including not the heroes, everything, hears a voice inside of their heads, and it says, They have it. The Atlas Stone. The floating figure gestures out a hand towards Cindy, and a blast of psychic energy hurtles into her direction. And no. that's where we'll stop playing for now. Ha <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
Thank you all again for listening to Dunsparce and Drampa. We are consistently blown away by the kind words and support received from all of you on Twitter and in our Discord server. We are delighted to announce the launch of our first handful of merch. On Redbubble, we have four starting designs available that make for great notebooks, apparel, stickers, and more. My personal favorite is the Women Want Me Carvana Fear Me hat from Episode 3. For the link to everything Dunsparce and Drampa, please visit our Linktree page at linktr.ee dunsparce slash Dunsparce. We'll see you next Tuesday. Is there a police station nearby? That's in like the southwest corner. Of okay, town. so no. Okay, you'd have to cut diagonally across all this mayhem. Yes. Yes, I would like cost. to make a police report. <laughs> I think the, <laughs> there was a giant <laughs> guys... blip in America in the middle of town. <laughs> there was a so no, I was going to turn the in the. I was going to turn in the stolen pokeballs. I feel like you can do that later. later. Yeah, I think that's an after. The okay. revolution type deal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we file police support after the revolution. So. <laughs> <laughs>